Hello, welcome back, Cancer, to Soul Vibin with Carrie, back with another tarot card reading for you. Here um, on this fine Saturday, I feel like I'm going to be uploading this video in a couple days or just before this conjunction with Jupiter and Saturn, of course, because I want you guys to, you know, get in touch uh, to the energy of whatever's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and start your reading with some beautiful oracle cards from Work Your Light. So we're going to see what's going to come up around cancer so far my readings have been very powerful very detailed so i really hope they're the same for you okay so cancer okay let me see i forgot let me just check real quick what's going to be activated for you this um in this conjunction i feel like it's going to be your sixth house no, sorry, your eighth house, Cancer. Okay, so your eighth house is all about um, basically achieving everything you want. Basically, you can have whatever it is you want. Yes, like it's possible. Yes, you can have that perfect job. Yes, you can have that perfect relationship. Okay, so I'm just about ready to pull these cards out. Give me just one more minute. Okay, so um, that's what the eighth house is um, going to fine tune uh, basically your relationship radar. So. Um, you're going to really be um, knowing of what it is you want from a partnership if you're not in that partnership already. If you are in that partnership, I feel like you're going to be setting the groundwork to deepen your commitment to this person. You get Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Oh my God. Okay, so just as I was talking about... Um, laying down your roots laying down uh, the seeds of what it is you want that's exactly what's going to be happening um with this eighth house in cancer okay at this time around a year with saturn jupiter conjunction so let's go ahead and see what else came up here so you're going to be laying down foundations in this relationship if you're already in it if you're not in this relationship you're going to know what you want okay everything's going to be a little bit more clear to you you're going to be fine-tuning like Yes, I want a person that's romantic, but that also gives me my space. Or I want a person that's so romantic that just wants to spend 100% 100 of the time with me. I don't know. Whatever it is you want, Cancer, you're going to be laying down those foundations. Okay, very beautiful. You also get awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. Energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. So like I said, you're going to be upgrading your status i feel like your relationship status or your relation like um whatever it is you want you're going to be upgrading it you're going to be fine-tuning you're going to know your worth and you're going to be like yes i want this and i also want this and i'm going to get it because that's just how it's going to go for me so very beautiful energy cancer we're going to go ahead and back this up oh shit! like i said for you it's the eighth house and the eighth house rules um like details in relationship or you know working with other people so let's go ahead and give me a sec just give me one second here cancer whatever it is i couldn't find it so i was trying to look for something for you cancer but i couldn't find it but anyways let's go ahead and keep going here so what's coming up around cancer what energy are they going to be embodying you get the camel here so i feel like a lot of you are just going to be in touch with your intuition more like i said and you're just going to be fine-tuning um, what it is you want after this conjunction and with the tarantula here this is a lot of fire energy so I feel like some of you are going to want more of this passion in your relationship that maybe you've been lacking okay because the camel can go a long time without water okay it can go through periods of drought so if you guys have been single for a long time I see here that with the tarantula also a spider may be your animal totem at the time I just got that that message really quick but a tarantula is a fire sign so i feel like you guys are going to be a lot more passionate or you guys are going to want a lot more passion in your life around this time now it could be the weather of course and just the holiday season but i feel like with this conjunction it's going to be something a lot more deeper than that okay hmm. very interesting let me go ahead and where is my book Ugh. At a crossroad claiming life's, life's purpose. This is beautiful. So with the tarantula, I feel like you guys are going to be um, activated into your life's purpose. Okay, you guys are going to start making those baby steps towards what it is you're here to do on earth. And what is your mission? What you came to do? Okay. Um, yeah, following your intuition is like major key. Up and around this time and going forward. Okay, into this new year. 
I mean, since that was so nice, I really liked it. I'm going to pull out one more for you. The bee, yes, <laughs> working. The bee is all about hard working and, you know, working in partnerships, working in, in, as a group in general. I feel like a lot of you are going to be working with other people as far as with your spirit guides as well, okay? And some of you guys are going to be working alone with your spirit guides, which is very beautiful. But I do see here like a, a pack mentality almost, like a, you're going to be working with other people, your spirit guides, your whatever it is you believe in. Cancer, that's going to be really activated for you this upcoming year and after this conjunction. Okay, perfect. So we're going to go ahead and move forward into the Starseed Oracle to see what it, what your soul purpose is and if we can get a little bit more clue into what it can be. Okay, I feel like some of you guys have a lot of um, very beautiful, very uh, passionate energy within you. Not only that, some of you may be healers. I just see it here with this Anna, grandmother of Jesus. I feel like she could have been a very powerful person. I've never really heard of her, but um, this is all new to me as well. Okay, Cancer, so let's go ahead and see what else. And also with the camel, I feel like you guys are very strong, very diligent, like very patient. You guys can go long periods of time um, by yourselves to really analyze what you want. So let's go ahead and see baby steps. Like I said, I feel like you guys are taking baby steps towards your mission and action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. Very beautiful energy I'm seeing here for you. Okay, Cancer. I don't know if it's just me or did my camera get a little darker or I think it got a little darker in here, but I'm going to go ahead and fix the light just really quick. Give me a minute. Okay, Cancer. So let's go ahead and get one more card here to see, you know, if there's, you know, maybe for some of you guys, you, I feel like you don't know what it is that you want to do yet. You don't know your life's mission. Just know you're on the right track and you're taking these baby steps. Everything you've been doing is leading you up to what you need to discover okay and even though things don't make sense just keep following your intuition because you're being led in the right direction by your spirit guides okay and that's something really strong that came through for you <laughs> you got the love hey darian energy codependency boundaries so keep setting those boundaries if that's what you've been doing setting boundaries with other people okay or just setting boundaries within yourself okay to figure out to figure out what it is you want Okay, and we also get your life is a canvas, artist, manifestation, creative accountability. This is something you should be doing at the moment, okay, to figure out what it is you want to do. Keep, if you are artists, okay, keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job, okay? If you have been manifesting, keep doing it because this is really going to bring you um, into your like full potential power. Okay, Cancer, very beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and pull out some tarot cards for you here. This is my Santa Marta Tarot deck. So let's see what's coming up around Cancer. Oh, yes. You get the High Priestess, which is all about energy. She's all about energy and, and intuition. I'm sorry. And with this intuition, I feel like you guys are being activated to follow your intuition. Or you guys have been doing this. And this is something you need to continue to do. Okay. You also get the Seven of Cups. Um, which is all about um, dreaming up what it is you want. Using manifestation, using your vision, use, using some of you guys have this power where you can imagine the perfect life you want and that simply doing that is going to get you what you want, okay? You're manifesting it that way. Okay, and that's what I see. Something very, very powerful that you guys have. Cancer, very beautiful. I'm going to pull out, very beautiful. You get Fatima, the mother of imams. So this is the feminine feminine <laughs> feminine feminine um divine feminine oracle so it's like i don't know i just feel like they come through with nice little messages but love is my lineage and gratitude is my religion really practice being grateful for what it is you have to attract more of that and you get your moya the goddess of all that flows i am an ocean of creative energy i give birth to what exists within me so you guys have so much power like i said you guys are very special and you guys are giving birth to that okay keep doing what you're doing wow the fact that you got your moya and you guys are a water sign like this is coming together so nice so beautiful i'm gonna pull out some cards from the mermaids see what the mermaids have for you um up around this 
Let's Saturn Jupiter conjunction. You get ambition. Set your sights beyond the horizon. And so yeah, start dreaming big. Cancer is what I'm getting. Start following your intuition. If, if you feel like you can do something way bigger than what you're doing now, it's possible you have it within you. Okay, so if you're artist or music or or if you're if you kind of know you're psychic, keep doing what you're doing because you guys have great potential. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what else comes up for Cancer here. I do recommend you you watch from your rising sign for these rising or sun sign. But you can watch with whatever resonates. So if you feel like this reading doesn't resonate, watch from your other signs, okay? You get protection. Keep some of keep some aquamarine clothes. The mermaid's tears have been known to create these precious gems. So you're being asked to protect your energy. And with this boundaries card, I feel like some of you guys need to keep setting those boundaries towards people who are being negative or people who tell you, you know, you can't achieve such great goals you can't have it all because cancer i want you to know that you can have it all and the eighth house being activated in your chart at the moment with this powerful jupiter energy okay and the saturn energy you guys have the ability to have anything you want and everything you, you guys can have it all okay so if there's people that are talking to you telling you you can't have it all just know that you can okay so just fine tune all your emotions okay um, basically overall cancer, what I'm getting is that either you're going to know, um, whether you want to be with people or not. Okay. If you want to keep people in your life, if you want to get rid of them, you're also going to know there's going to be a, a very distinctive black or white, whether you want to be with someone or not. So if you're in a relationship, you're going to know for sure. Like this is the person I want to be with for the rest of my life kind of thing. And if there's somebody in your life that you're kind of wishy-washy about, you're going to know, like hey they're just not for me okay very beautiful i really hope you guys enjoyed your reading um that's all i have for you today i'll see you guys next time bye